This is how much these guys enjoy sugar graze silage. Eh? An animal chew and almost decides even to close its eyes to make sure that it feels how it tastes. You see? So that is how nice sugar graze is. There is grains in it, already um, serious grains, because remember we cut it with uh, we cut it with um, with its grain and uh, we use it all. So these guys, these are our mothers that have produced actually, and um, we decide to feed them extra more because we want them to retain their real size. You get because now they are giving milk to their babies. They are also giving milk. To, to us who wants to drink but of course for us we don't like it so much but actually these animals are meant to have more milk that's what you have to know because the intention is to make sure that the babies grow at a higher rate if mothers have no um, good milk uh, the kids cannot look nice so uh, for your information sugar graze is really a very good uh, 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 feed. Why? Because of its nutritional values. If you Google, if you go through its profile of uh, sugar grace, it's really a very excellent combination because uh, most of you people are advised to feed your animals with spent grain. Spent grain is a leftover after making the beers uh, the leftovers is the spent uh, the spent grain which we again give to the dairy animals and even the beef industry as well use it but now when you use the sugar grace sugar grace has both because remember uh, in the in the brewery they remove a certain percentage and then make the 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 the, the, the beers and then the leftover is also still rich in the protein and it's given to the animals but of course they show you the results so uh, me when I use uh, sugar grace that means I have it all nothing I have removed I've given it to my animals you get so that means I will have more nutrients than any other grass so you people um and remember yeah, the sugar grace has a very sweet stem. That means those are sugars, and uh, you know what uh, it means an animal taking sugars. That means it's going to have a lot of energy, and those excess carbs in the body will be turned into a fat. And what we want in all in all, we want a fat, and we as well want the muscle. So that's what I'm trying to um, at least make sure that I studied this so I have started feeding these animals with sugar grease I remember you saw uh, when I was chopping it you saw when I was planting it then after planting it I um, I inserted it I think you do remember as well I've been documenting it and now I'm feeding it so I want you guys to give me just a month if you give me a month I'll be able to tell you how my animals have been changed uh, through using the sugar grace. All in all, my advice is you guys never give up that you don't have a big land, but just you just need to apply your brain. Let your brain exercise. If your brain exercises, you can never go wrong, my dear. We are very poor people who doesn't have big chunks of land, but as well we cannot get out of the business because we have no big chunk of land. We can always do it. What we only need to ensure is that uh, we keep the right, right treatment and management of these animals. The moment these animals don't die, we can achieve it. Though even if they die, um, at least more will be produced. But let's give a chance um, to these animals to have enough feeds. And actually, if an animal is also uh, feeding very well, that means even the tolerance to diseases will be uh, very high because 
the animal has the energy, it can as well have more antibodies, it can as well have more nutrients. So if a disease comes, really it can be a um, fault if your animals really have a very good nutrition. So my dear, me or not, let me give you results on this sugar grace, and I think it's a good answer. But don't always say that I'm going to be only on those sugar grass. But as well, try to plant other grasses like chloris, alfalfa, you know, those kind of grasses. If we have a chance that we have a country which can allow any, any grass to grow, even without doing any supplements or fertilizers, and even goats themselves are producing the fertilizers. So if we are producing the fertilizers, that means we can as well use that. Me, what I do, I use the fertilizers of the goats, dung, and as well, I, 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 I put it in the garden, I put the dung in the garden, then uh, I bring whatever I've produced from the garden, then I give it to them. You know, I just keep doing the recycling. And you know, my animals are not really doing bad. Me, what makes me smile is seeing my animals really enjoying like the ways. Thank you very, very much. Uh, let me just wish you the best uh, the, the kids are also up there they are being worked on they are being treated I think you can see but after the treatment they again come back here they are not sick but because we got uh, one mortality one death we got one got dead in the morning so that means we need to uh, secure ourselves we just need to start applying some uh, oxytocin in case there is an infection that is uh, uh, existing in the bodies, we can stop it and then find a solution. So we are even going to do uh, respray before even the time of uh, the proper spray. Thank you very much. Let me just give you a time to think about whatever I've said. Bye-bye for now.